Wait, hold on. This is wrong. Wait, I can fix it. I can fix it. Give me a second. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. All right. Um, sure. All right. Um, hi. Things have changed. So we're going to start over and it's going to be great. Yeah. Hello, Internet. It's I, the Roshi, and I'm back. I'm back. Back doing another reaction. This time, Genshin Impact's version 4.1 trailer. I'm pretty excited for this. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. The fortress of Meripede may seem like a prison, but it should in fact be regarded as a gathering place for exiles. I will arrange false charges against you so that you may secretly investigate inside the fortress. The truth is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. All of our informants, including the ones that had infiltrated the guards, suddenly vanished. Something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. A mysterious box? A bottle of crimson liquid? So, you know those pipes that make strange sounds? Don't ever, ever go near them at night. Sooner or later, all will pay the price for their arrogance. Get a little chilly. Time's up. Negotiations have broken down. Please leave, ladies and gentlemen. If Risley does have a plan, what could it be? After being away from the sunlight for so long, even the terrifying depths of the sea start to feel like home. Uh, I have to... Have we entered into the next stage of the prophecy? And now, another catastrophe will soon be upon us. I mourn this turn of events. difficult to express my emotions because I cannot fully understand myself. I'm confident that we'll find the meaning of our existence one day. Rumors saying that you were born from calamity. You inherently bring danger to those around you. Why should we trust this species from who knows where anyway? Melazines can't be trusted! That goes for Nervalette too! There's only one thought on my mind. Only through bloodshed can the debt be repaid. Rightly. Where did you take my siblings? Even if the truth may not be pleasant, since they have no way to dispose of the leftover remains, they have ways to transform them into other forms and keep them in the fortress forever. It beggars believe just how carefree you have been. From the very beginning, you, the god Fosalor, have failed to take action. Who are you? What are you trying to do? Please don't kill me! I'm begging you! Is this... What justice means to you? Answer me, Nubilet! You will see much in the human world, from the delightful to the depressing. And one day, when you have dwelt among humanity long enough, you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for Fontaine's past. It is unnecessary to hold me in such high regard. and melodies wandering the wind, wafting to pastures beyond their home. Two greedy fishies struggling to swim. They ate so much that they're starting to groan. Welcome to this festival of poetry, jointly organized by Lua and Mondstadt. This riddle is, uh, unique? Okay, 
I got something. It's pizza! The answer is pizza! Oh, yeah. The answer is Paimon. It's Paimon. I was actually gonna say Paimon, too. What? No! You're all completely wrong! How did you all think the answer was Paimon? They keep raising and breaking the bar with these trailers. I am pleased. First off, some general things that I liked about this. The music goes hard. It's awesome. I was really feeling it with Risley's and then Nouvellet's with that guitar. Immediate banger of a soundtrack. So good. Also, another thing that I feel like I personally don't talk about too much. I have on some occasions, but I want to talk about it in a positive light, and that is the voice acting. Now, I know in the past I've thrown some shade here and there because maybe I wasn't a fan of the mixing or editing when it was used in the trailer, or perhaps there was something weird with the direction a voice actor or actress may have been given at the time. Uh, maybe, in my opinion, a miscast here or there. However, I really enjoyed the voice acting in this trailer. There was a lot of feeling. There was a lot of feeling. There was a lot of emotion in these lines that were delivered. I want to give praise when it's due. So, I mean, praise. I mean, you could just really hear the fear in some of these lines, the desperation, the anger. It was just phenomenal. Okay, the next thing I liked. Ricely, Nouvellette, they're dripped out. They look awesome. I know we've seen them a little bit before, but we got to like see them in motion, moving around, doing things. Like this this was this was pretty freaking cool. Risley has this muted look, lots of grays, darker colors, a little bit of red. He's got that goth punk vibe to him. It's it's kind of vampire-esque. Just uh, a little bit. And speaking about vampires, not saying that he is a vampire, but they refer to a mysterious box and a bottle of crimson liquid. Why is it got to be a crimson liquid? Why can't we say wine? Why can't we say tomato juice? Yeah, you're making me think blood. You're making me think vampires. And what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? Garlic? No, wouldn't be garlic. Vampires don't like garlic. Tomatoes for the juice. Figured it out. All right, so the other thing I like about Risley here is that he's a brawler. I don't know what it is about this game and people who throw hands. I thought Hazo was really cool when I first saw him doing it. Then Dia was a thing and oh my God. But how they present it here with the visuals and the, the, the sound effects, all the eye candy, it just looks so good. I mean, just by watching it, I get a sense of good game feel. You know when you're playing a game and you do some action and there's a lot of impact behind it and you're like, ooh, that felt good. That, that, was, that was good. That made me feel like I was doing the thing. I'm getting that feeling just by watching. Does anyone else feel that way when you see things like this? Can you actually get a sense of whether or not that's good game feel? Let me know what you think in the comments down below. All right, now moving on to Nouvellet. Let's talk about this spectacle of uh, uh, who's a mawatsit? Sorry, what is what is he actually? He's a melusine. A melusine. Sounds like a magazine for melatonin something. I know Nouvellet has appeared in other things, but this is probably the first one where we actually get to see more of him. Maybe in the game you see more of him, of course, right? But as far as trailers go, this is my first time seeing more of him rather than just a couple lines and visuals here and there. Uh, there was definitely a lot more of him doing things in this version trailer, and it was awesome. So when I see him, my first impression is if you took a lawful, neutral Sephiroth and fused him with Van Gogh's Starry Night and added a Super Soaker, like one of those high powered ones. Then you have Nouvellet. But yeah, based on this guy's design, we knew that he was going to have some importance, right? I mean, look at him. Look at this dude. Look at him. His hair, flawless. Eyes, mysterious. Clothes, stylish. Heels, looking at you, feet people. And the dude has a cane because he can. You know, I'm going silver. I'm probably going to need a cane. Maybe one day I can strive to be like the Wish.com Nouvellet. 
You know, what do you guys think? I could do it. I can dream at least. But yeah, the eye candy in this is just amazing. Just all the effects from the moves going off. I mean, look, Novalet's got like a water cannon Kamehameha thing. And Risley over here is just beating the crap out of everyone. He's smashing almost the same amount as the people who are smashing him on their smash or pass tier lists. Dude's insane and sexy. All right, now let's get into some of the other things I wanted to talk about. I like this here. Don't go near the pipes. Don't listen to the pipes at night, blah, blah, blah. I don't know if it's directly connected to Risley, but I feel like there is some kind of connection to that because in the Overture teaser, I will be talking about that on and off throughout this, I'm sure. We have a scene where down several levels in some kind of basement-like area, he's with this other character who's very cute. They have a wholesome moment with the teas and the drinks and it's all that's just adorable and then our attention is brought away and that transition is through a pipe maybe that means something there it could be a sign that maybe risley is always watching within this facility he's always listening to what's going on uh, however, they're making it seem a lot darker. Maybe that leans towards the actual fortress. They talk about experimentation, all that stuff, and perhaps that's happening like underground somewhere. And if you listen, you're going to hear the horrific things that are happening. Risley is kind of doing his own thing. Maybe he doesn't agree with the system that has been in place, or perhaps he does and things have changed since then. So it seems like he is kind of taking things into his own hands. We have a line, which I believe is Linny lashing out at Risley, wondering where his siblings are, which now makes me think if maybe Linny had a plan, like I originally thought, and then Risley intervened, and now things have gone out of hand. Linny gets all heated and goes and confronts him, I guess. If that is the case, if, that, if this is a voice line from Linny, lashing out, wondering where his family is, taking it out on Risley because no, he knows that Risley has something to do with it. This is very cool because we've seen Linny as the guy who's putting on the act all the time, the showman. The, he's got the charisma, he's got that riz. I shouldn't say he isn't himself, but here it's, there are no more games. This is real. Don't fuck with my family. Right. So maybe it was maybe part of the plan in the beginning for certain people to go missing, etc. And now he's like, yo, what, what are you doing? What is this? What's this is not part of the plan. So I like that a lot. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how that unfolds. Now to move on to Nouvellet for a bit here, there's a lot to say. I'm getting the feeling that Nouvellet kind of goofed in some way. I don't know exactly what he did, but I've had the feeling or the theory that he was going to be the cause of some trouble at some point in time. And I guess based on events that have happened before, now we are seeing the consequences of those actions, possibly. He's a Melusine. Apparently there are other Melusines and they are not really trusted. Uh, people don't know anything about them. All they do know is that I guess they appeared when the calamity happened, which I'm assuming the calamity is when older ancient Fontaine went underwater. That's what I'm, I'm guessing. Perhaps calamity is more a Tavot broader scale thing. Either way, calamity not not really sounding like a good thing so these guys are associated with like bad luck and danger if they're just yelling at nouvellet now about this kind of stuff then that means that no one really knew about it before he had to have kept this about him hidden i'm guessing nouvellet whatever this melusine species is they've been around for a long time if they came from the Calamity, which sounds like it happened a long time ago, then these guys have just been amongst people for a while, put there to fulfill some kind of purpose. And because they are here, or at least he is here to fulfill some kind of purpose, he is all about his job, all about his mission, whatever that is. And he is so much in that mindset of just law justice judgment blah just this 
this is like who he is and he even admits that he does not understand emotions because he can't even understand his own emotions he doesn't think with emotion he's all logic brain he is all just deep old school traditional mindset like it's ju that's just what he's here for he's never had to bring his heart and feelings into anything he has ever done so there's something i wanted to bring up here because i thought it was shockingly relatable and i don't know if they intended it for it to be this way but the fact that i was able to like feel and gather some kind of insight to at least possibly even think this way i find it very interesting and kind of kind of helpful i guess i should explain what that is Nouvellet makes it clear that he doesn't fully understand himself, at least when it comes to sharing emotions. People struggle with expressing themselves sometimes, and this can be whether or not you have a mental disorder that affects your social skills, or even someone who has an identity crisis. Now, I'm not a doctor, but I will speak from personal experience, there was a time in my life where I did not know who I was. Now that sounds a little strange to say, you know, how, how do you not know who you are? You're, you're you. Yeah, but when you live your life and you just try to be a people pleaser and you get these ideas in your head that you have to be a certain way and not like another way, you kind of sometimes try to fit all these other categories, putting on one mask after another to the point where you kind of could have a mental breakdown not knowing who you actually are because you spent years pretending to be what you thought people wanted you to be. So at least for me, there was a time where I didn't know who I was and because of that, that gave me great anxiety and I felt like I didn't know how to express myself and over time and some therapy, I had to just kind of focus on the little things, the, the, the little things that I knew brought me joy and talk it out with some people and, you know, just take some time to actually find myself. And I feel like there are even times these days where I have to just take a moment, sit back and think about what is it that I want to do? How do I actually feel about this? And now that I have those skills to self-reflect, I'm doing much better, which is why I feel comfortable with sharing that. And like I said, I'm no doctor. I don't have any certification, but if any of you out there have had similar problems or are going through something similar, just take it easy and actually take that time to try to focus on yourself. If I can do it, you can do it. I believe. Anyway, sorry about that. Let's get back to the nerd stuff. I really like how the trailer begins where we have the mug shots of Aether and Paimon. When I first saw that, I actually got pretty excited on the inside. I know I don't express it very well in my reactions, but I did feel very excited. I did. I, honestly, I did because I was thinking back to the Overture teaser again. Once again, bringing up the Overture teaser. I'm going to be doing that a lot. I already said that. Okay. I predicted something would happen that would frame Aether, the Traveler, and that would be Linny and Lynette's doing. As we watch further, we see them mentioning raising charges to get locked up into this fortress on purpose. So that way, some investigation could happen to find out what this fortress is all about, because we learn it's it's probably not great. Real quick, I want to bring up the description of this video. Now, in past videos, I had a feeling that it was through the voice of Lenny, because it was all about tricks and illusions and things not appearing as how they seem. However, this time, it is definitely not Lenny's voice. And I say that because it's very straightforward. Deep below the surface vast lie secrets from the distant past. When someone brings them to light someday, they'll make their return on the crest of a wave. Now, first off, this is pretty cool because it is obviously a poem and they have that little 
poetry event segment at the end of this very cool i like the style of it it was very comic booky very flat looking it was it was it was it was nice and the venti and hu tao kind of working off of each other with their poems and uh it was it was cool good vibes i don't really have much else to say about that other than heard a lot of paimon and that's gonna be a thing i'm gonna have to deal with Anyway, moving on. Yeah, this is very straightforward. Deep below the surface vast lies secrets from the distant past. We're talking about the ruins. We're talking about society before the Fontaine that we know now. When someone brings them to light someday, they'll make their return on the crest of a wave. Those secrets will be revealed and then uh, history's going to repeat itself. Fontaine now is also going to be sunk. We heard about it in the prophecy with Fosalore and all that jazz. Fontaine will be going underwater. Now, will it actually go underwater? We're probably going to save the day. Let's be realistic here. There's a lot of other places we have to go see and do. And if the story ends here, then we failed. But still, that's the threat, right? That's the threat that Fontaine is going to be drowned -did -did. it's gonna be atlantis 2.0 it's gonna be like a rubber ducky but instead of a rubber ducky because rubber duckies float it's gonna be made of lead because lead sinks but now i'm thinking that there's more to this prophecy probably in game you learn about the actual stages of things within the prophecy maybe the rain is one stage maybe water levels rising is another either way they're talking about the next stage approaching so we got all hell about to break loose up in here oh uh, let's see here oh there's an arlecchino sighting that's good that's cool but we also have the sounds of what i think is uh farina begging for her life i think it's farina Either way, I believe this is Arlecchino doing something to Farina or threatening her or something in order her to get Farina to do the bad things. Because that's what the Fatui do. They mess with Archons and do bad things. Arlecchino's still very mommy though. Just, I just got, I just, I mean, I, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. But yeah, if the thumbnail for this trailer wasn't obvious enough, Arlecchino is going to have a pretty big role to play in this part. So that will be very cool to see that she is introduced and is going to be taking some action. And boy, are we going to have chaos. Another line here, questioning Novelette's justice. Now, let's be honest, we all have our own sense of justice. Some are more extreme than others. Novelette here is a guy who does not understand emotions. You do not need feelings to throw someone in jail for stealing an apple. Yes, they were maybe stealing it for the orphans, but that is their problem. In my opinion, that's how Novelette sees things. Is it good? Not really. Is it bad? Also, not really. It's just very neutral it's just it is what it is kind of thing you know so yeah there will definitely be some heads budding because of that okay so this here this is very cool you will see much in the human world from the delightful to the depressing and one day when you have dwelt among humanity long enough you will be placed to bring judgment over all as a spokesperson for fontaine's past Ch check this out Okay, 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 okay. We're good. The prophecy? The prophecy. I'm not sure exactly when it began, but a prophecy has been circulating around Fontaine. The people will all be dissolved into the waters, and only the Hydro Archon will remain, weeping on her throne. That is the prophecy that I know based off of the 4.0 version trailer. And I'm thinking in my head, Fosalor. Fosalor is, you know, one of those demon names. All the Archons have a demon name. Fosalor was like some grand duke of hell or whatever that would drown people and sink ships. And of course they gave this Hydro Archon that name. So I was over here like, oh, that's clever. The Hydro Archon, Fontaine, she's gonna sink it all. It's part of the prophecy. They gave her that name. Now. Yes and no. 
I don't want to go off of these demon names too hard because with the other ones in the past, you, you could kind of make a connection with, but overall, they're pretty unrelated for the most part. Some things here and there, but not everything. There's a prophecy of the city being drowned. It doesn't mean that Fosalor, Farina, has to do it willingly. Maybe it's not her choice to. Maybe she has to for reasons. And maybe that reason as to why it has to happen has something to do with Novelette. Novelette has a strong bias towards law and order, judgment. A guy who is all about the ways of old. A guy who doesn't understand emotions. Who has waited amongst people for a long time, waiting for a specific moment to fulfill a purpose. Ever since the Overture teaser, there has been symbolism of this dude being important, of having focus around him. Signs of warning. Overall, a problem for everyone else in time. Nouvellet is an individual that will fulfill the prophecy if he needs to at all costs. He has no reason not to. He does not have to feel sympathy for anyone. He's been here since the last calamity, probably maybe even caused it and now history repeats itself people are corrupt the justice system has failed clean slate starting over using the hydro archon you're a tool you're gonna be used clean out everything start over it's what we did in the past it's what we're going to do again because things got screwed up and then what's the aftermath arena alone everyone gone weeping because of what she had to do against her wishes damn yeah i don't know i could be completely wrong but you know i, I feel a little good about that the whole prophecy in the beginning with fosalor being the one to like you know drown the city and all that stuff kind of a red herring like yes technically but it never said that it was her wish to do that it's just something that happens and then she's sad i'm thinking farina's just the bomb but Nouvellet has the detonator. Kind of what I'm going with. Oh, well, there's probably more I could say if I look hard enough, but I think I want to leave it here and let other things just kind of come to fruition as they do. Or find a reason to talk about them later. You know, there's that too. Overall, I really enjoyed what I watched here. It was so much fun. It, I mean, it didn't disappoint. I was waiting for quite some time. That hype was up and I just couldn't get around to doing it before I left Japan. But now I'm in America and I'm ready to to be recording some stuff. I'll be watching Nouvellet's demo and teaser soon, along with the special program as well in the near future. So stick around if you want to see me react to that. And once again, as always, thank you so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, make sure you tell me by subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then hit that like button because it really means a lot. And knowing that you're enjoying the content that I put out only makes me want to work harder at making more of the stuff that you like so much. So thank you for your support. It means a lot. And of course, if you made it to the end of the video, then please, in the comment section down below, within your message, leave the word judgment. And that way, I will know that you are indeed a real one. Thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, shine on, you crazy diamonds. Later.